To make 3D models, there are a few steps. The process begins with modeling, editing vertices to create a mesh that will become the basis of our project. Then we move on to texturing an object. Texturing adds color and detail to your object and can make up for small details that are not worth modeling. Next, we light the scene. It's important to make sure that the model is well lit but not too bright. Shadows can give depth and show off the model structure. Then we render. Rendering is when we combine everything into a final image. We can do this through render engines such as Eevee and Cycles, but there are other options as well. Today we will be modeling a coin. To start off, let's look at some basic movement. You can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel, and hold the scroll wheel while dragging to rotate around the scene. You can also hold shift and scroll wheel to pan. Let's get started with some modeling. Press A and delete to clear your scene. Press Shift A to add a new object. Let's go to Mesh and select a cylinder. We can press S to scale the size of the cylinder and Control Z to undo. While scaling, we can select an axis to scale it on if we press X, Y, or Z. To make the coin, we'll first scale it down on the Z axis. Then we can go into edit mode by hitting tab. From here we can see and select our object in different ways. By hitting vertex select, we can select all of our vertices. By hitting edge select, we can select all the edges. The same goes for face select. To make the raised edge of the coin, first we'll look at the extrude tool. You can press E to extrude a face, which will add new geometry. To indent the coin, we'll extrude but not drag the mouse. This will keep it in the same place. So we can then scale the face down and have an inner and an outer circle. We can press extrude again and drag down to indent the cylinder. This can be done for both faces simultaneously, but for now we'll do it separately. Now that we have our coin shape, we can add the centerpiece. To do this, we'll be tracing an image. Go into object mode tab and hit file import, images as planes, and select your image from the file browser. Your image will appear white because we're still in solid view mode. You can scale your image up and move it by hitting G. When you hold Z, a menu should appear. By holding Z and going to material preview, we can see our image. When the image is in place, we can go into edit mode by hitting tab. From there, you can see a bunch of tools on the left-hand side of the screen. We will be using the knife tool. If you have a numpad, you can press 7 and get a top view of the screen, which is nice but not needed. From here, we can click along our edges and start to make an outline of our shape. Press enter when you're done. And now we can go up to this select box feature and select edge select. Now we can shift click and select all the edges that we did not create. Hit delete and edges and we have removed all the extra faces from our image. Now to make this a 3D shape, we can press A to select all and then we can press E to extrude again. Now the transparency is causing this to look a little distorted, so we can go down to our material properties menu in the right hand side and press the subtraction button right here to remove it. Now let's wrap up by combining the two. So we're going to start by making the coin a little bit thinner and then we can press G and move down the W until it's just slightly through both the sides. And there we have it, our final coin model. Thank you for watching. The hotkeys will be in the description.